hi it's Friday night which is the night before what's supposed to be this vlog I've just been sitting here all day like today I was struggling because as you saw in the last vlog in vlogmas day 11 I was busy up until like 4 o'clock 4 30 and didn't get to start the vlog until quite late. I was kind of panicking, I won't lie. Like, how am I gonna fill up a vlog? It still ended up being over 26 minutes total, including the end card. Um, <laughs> so I did okay, but I was thinking like, all day, like tomorrow, all I wanna do is sleep and read and do nothing. <laughs> You know, I don't know how vlog worthy that's going to be. There are some vloggers I know who they do every other day for Vlogmas or so there's a few who I know who are doing every two days or every three days, both big and small creators. My friend Natasha is doing every other day. Tamsin is doing every two or three. Some bigger YouTubers, Erica from Retro Flame is doing every other day, something like that. So, and Morgan Long, who's another larger YouTuber, which if you're not following Morgan Long, one of you guys recommended her to me and I checked her out and her vlogs, if you like my vlogs for their coziness and you're not watching Morgan Long, I would highly recommend her. So she's doing Vlogmas every other day. I was watching one of her vlogs earlier. She also does a lot of reading vlogs. Um, so if you're a book person and you like cozy stuff and you're not following Morgan Long, go follow her. And then there are some vloggers, so Lydia Millen, who I've talked about, she vlogs, she does Monday through Friday and then takes the weekends off. Then she and a few others who I follow, I think In The Fro and Victoria In The Fro and Josie from Fashion Mumbler, I think all of them have also started vlogging prior to December. So their, their vlogs are like a few days or a week old by the time they air. So like they've, what I'm trying to say so there are easier ways of doing Vlogmas than the way that I do it, <laughs> where I vlog every day as it happens, and I edit every night, and I upload that the following morning. And so I just thought it might be interesting, since I don't really know what I'm going to vlog for Vlogmas Day 12, I would kind of start the vlog early the night before, so it is still the night of Vlogmas Day 11, and I thought I would do a what you don't see <laughs> after the vlog ends. I will still vlog tomorrow, but this will give you a little insight into what happens, but also show you some of my cozy evenings that I kind of cut out because I'm done editing and uploading. So right now, I'm halfway through my hot chocolate. I've eaten the marshmallows off the top. <laughs> still got my cookies. The vlog is currently you can see it there. It's exporting, so it's a little bit past halfway. I've got Allie Gordon, who's Lydia's husband. He has his own channel, and I love his content. If you're not following Allie Gordon and you just love cinematic quality vlogs, like, you need to watch him. He's He does a lot of, like, men's fashion and men's grooming as well, but also just a lot of, like, them at home. So if you're a fan of Lydia... It's kind of like getting more of that. But his camera skills and editing skills are incredible. So I'm watching his vlog from this week. I've got the candles going in my fireplace. You can see the two that I've just recently changed the batteries for. I just, I know the others will be nice and bright like that if I change the batteries, but it just feels like wasting the batteries to change them when they're not all the way dead. I don't know. So I've got the candles going, I've got vlogs going, I've got stuff being exported. Once that is done exporting, I will start uploading it while I continue to watch vlogs. It's about 9.30, so I think I'm just going to watch his and then Lydia's vlog from today, because that's kind of the last one that I really wanted to get caught up on today. I watched a bunch at my desk earlier while I was writing, which you will have seen in yesterday's vlog. So yeah, I'm probably going to chill out here for another 
hour, hour and a half, and then go read. Um, so I will vlog the rest of the evening, and this is kind of a nice little introduction, and now if I spend tomorrow just kind of reading in bed, I won't feel like I've completely slacked off for Vlogmas. You can let me know what you think of this if you want more of my cozy evenings at the start of a vlog. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to relaxing, and I will show you the rest of this cozy evening. can't say welcome because <laughs> I already started the vlog last night but still welcome officially to vlogmas day 12 I just woke up not that long ago uh, let's grab number 12 I'll get my chocolate in a little bit and let's just sit over here on the couch I don't want to sit at my desk <laughs> that that'll work <laughs> kind of <laughs> I really slept in this morning. Um, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <laughs> My alarm went off at 7. 7 is just too early for me on a Saturday. Like, I just don't want to get up at 7 on a Saturday. <laughs> so I knew I still had alarms that would go off at 8 and at 9. And I just kind of thought, yeah, I'll probably get up at 8. If not, I'll have that alarm go off at 9. Definitely wake up at 9. Don't remember hearing those alarms at all. Next thing I knew, I just had this feeling of, I think it's pretty late. You should check your watch. I checked my watch and it was almost 11. I can't remember the last time I slept until almost 11. Clearly I needed it and I actually do feel pretty good this morning. Like I feel sleepy, but it's like a good sleepy. I need to get some coffee and I need to get some breakfast, but then I'm just gonna go get back in bed. I'm just gonna have a bit of a duvet day. I think currently about 25% into the novel I've started reading. Anyway, before I ramble on for too long, advent calendar. So let's see what we got today. We have whatever, whatever, I think is the brand, leave-in conditioner, perfect, hydrating, priming, and style refreshing. And this part makes me happy. No sulfates, parabens, gluten, toxin, phthalates, artificial dyes, formaldehyde, synthetic fragrance, petroleum derivatives. It's color safe, cruelty free, and 100% vegan. I don't think I've heard of this brand. That's what it looks like. So I'm looking forward to using it. I wonder, where it, I wonder what it smells like. Pretty good. It's a really nice scent. So cool. I will definitely give this a try. I'm really curious about this brand. Oh, it's not whatever, whatever. It's whatever, wherever is the brand. 
whatever, where, never heard of them. Um, but I'm very intrigued. So that is cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm ready to just go and do absolutely nothing all day. <laughs> Okay, it is a little bit later in the day. I've decided to go for a walk because it's beautiful outside. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went for a walk. I think it was last weekend. I've just been busy, but then I also, the last time I went for a walk, got a blister on my foot because I'd walked for so long. So I'm gonna try not to do that. I also wasn't quite wearing the right socks or the right shoes. So hopefully I have better luck today. Not gonna go for long, it's four o'clock. I wanna be back by like 4.30ish, so I'm just gonna go kind of like around the block. It's too nice of a day to spend the whole day inside. So yeah, that's kind of the update. I'm still reading. I'm reading very slow today. I don't know why. I think it's partly because my brain is just tired. I think the other part is I really am enjoying the book that I'm reading, so I don't want to speed through it. I want to read it a little bit more slowly and enjoy it. I don't know what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to stop trying to say anything and just go for my walk. <laughs>
Okay, it's just been the perfect Saturday. Ah, oh, it's just been so nice. I didn't get as much reading done today as I would have liked because I slept in so late, but like that was really nice too. <laughs> like I'm, I'm not mad about sleeping in. That's for sure. Felt really good. I don't let myself do that as much anymore. So yeah, that it's just, it's been a good day. <laughs> All the relaxing and reading in bed. And then my walk was so nice. I didn't, I wasn't out there for long, just about 30 minutes, but it felt really good. The weather was perfect. And then I came back and I've just been sitting on my balcony for like an hour and a half. Yeah, at least an hour and a half. I'm making a lot of progress on the book I'm reading. I thought I would kind of end this vlog a bit by telling you about the two books that I've been reading. So I haven't finished this one, but there was... I finished this one, which is Christmas in Three Quarter Time by Rachel McMillan. This was so good. This was so good. It's just written so beautifully. Her writing style is just gorgeous. I really loved it. It's set in Vienna. She, the writer, Rachel McMillan, the way that she describes, like her descriptive writing is just beautiful. I mean, it, it's just mesmerizing. I want to go to Vienna so badly. And I almost felt like I was in Vienna and in Austria as I was reading it. At one point, the characters take a road trip outside of Vienna into the countryside, and I just... I want to go so badly. So if, like me, you have been using books this year to travel and to escape, I'd highly recommend Christmas in Three Quarter Time. It just it makes me want to go to Vienna and see the Christmas markets. Oh, I, 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 there's a great romance. It's kind of a enemies to friends. They start out as kind of rival competitive reporters. But yeah, I just, I don't want to give too much away, but it's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. If you're looking for a kind of beautifully romantic contemporary romance, I'd recommend that. The book I'm reading now, this one, by Jamie Adamans, and it's Snowflakes at the Little Christmas Tree Farm. A delightfully uplifting festive romance to curl up with and that is totally accurate this is it's hilarious but also heartwarming and lovely it's got this really lovely romance it's I've laughed out loud so many times there's lots of uh, Christmas tree puns I just it's so silly but it's hilarious and the characters are so endearing it yeah I this is definitely one to kind of snuggle up under... Oh, they're both ones to snuggle up under a blanket with a cup of hot chocolate. I'd say Christmas in the Quarter Time is more romantic drama. Like, not in a dark way, but just it's more contemporary romance. This Snowflakes at the Little Christmas Tree Farm is more rom-com that makes sense. I'm really enjoying this one. So I'm not done with it yet, but I'm 79% of the way through. So I feel like I can recommend it because I doubt anything's going to happen in the remaining 21% of the book <laughs> that would change my opinion of it. Like it is fairly predictable. You know, it it's adhering to the expectations of the genre. So like I kind of know how it's going to end more or less. And I'm I'm fine with it. So unless like it just suddenly shifts into a completely different genre, I'd say what I've read of it, I highly recommend and I'm sure I'm going to love the ending. I will probably finish it tonight before I go to sleep. If not, I will definitely finish it tomorrow. So I will try to mention in tomorrow's vlog. Final, final thoughts. But yeah, as of now, definitely recommend it. There you go. Two more book recommendations. One that I've read, one that I'm still reading, but Highly recommend at least the 79% that I have read. Now it's time for me to start editing this vlog. So I have no idea where I'm at as far as length. And I need to put on a film. I need to make some food. I need to have something for dinner. 
I don't know what. And then, yeah, just eat dinner, watch the film, edit the vlog, kind of what I always do. And then at the beginning of this vlog, you saw what happens after I stop vlogging. So that's exactly what will happen later tonight after I stop vlogging. I will show you what I get up to the rest of the night. This might be the last time I talk to you. Again, I have to see how long this vlog has gotten. So I will ask my question just in case. I have had such a great Saturday. I would like to know either how your Saturday was, because you'll watch this tomorrow on Sunday, or maybe Monday or Tuesday, but I'd like to know how your Saturday was. And I would also, and or, I would like to know what your idea of a perfect Saturday is or what you like to do on a Saturday. This has definitely been my ideal Saturday. <laughs> Sleeping in, a lot of reading, going for a walk, reading on the balcony as the sun sets, and now a cozy evening of good food and probably some hot chocolate again and watching probably Harry Potter again. I feel like I should probably like, you know, put a pause on the Harry Potter marathon, but I might just do my Harry Potter marathon earlier in December and not do it right up until Christmas Day. So yeah, it's going to be a lovely evening. So I will show you the evening and I will see you all tomorrow if I don't pop back on to see you tonight. Um, if I don't pop on again, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, not down. <laughs> give it a thumbs up. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.